All right, so this is the soldering and adding the wire terminal process here. There's not much to it. I'm just going to send two wires in through that hole that the AC cord uh, went out through and then uh, tie them onto the uh, wires that uh, were previously connected to the battery inside the UPS unit. I do want to solder the connection just to make sure that uh, it's a good connection and then I'm going to actually um, put uh, a little um, wire twisty thing and tape it up with electrical tape just to make sure there's no chance of it uh, shorting out. And that's all there is to it really. back in there there's no way that can short circuit ah well I'll have the cover on here in a second make sure stuff's not flopping around but uh I like to keep uh my terminals here I'm just gonna clamp one of these with uh, jumper cables but uh you know keep them different lengths keeps them from having any chance of shorting out okay I'll have to admit it, uh, I haven't bought my solar panels yet uh, because uh, they're expensive. I haven't figured out how to get them for free yet. So what I've got here is I'm just using my car battery. I think anyone that's spent any time trying to figure out how to use solar panels, you'll know that if you can run it off a car battery, you can run it off a sol solar panel. So um, what I have here is uh, my little, ooh, it's not spinning so freely. Why is that like that? Huh. Something that's not wrong with my little I don't want to go the other way. That's weird. I hope that's the way it spins. All right, so uh, this is my little rock grinding wheel. I put some just some tape on it so you can see it spinning. This is a good example. You know, electric motor is a good example of uh, something that you need uh, AC power for because it certainly won't work with DC power. So I'm going to go plug this into my UPS. And uh, I'm being very careful because I haven't uh, put the cover back on yet. I want to catch it on tape if the whole thing blows up. Uh, I've got my jumper cables hooked up to the battery already. I have one more cable to put on here. And hopefully it doesn't give me sparks. Someone's actually catching the wire. That even makes a good contact. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to go over here and turn the unit on. And uh, it's got power, I guess, because it made a beep. Let's see if it works. Nothing. So maybe this one has something else wrong with it.